All right, Chairman, you already know. So uh, uh, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson had their fight on Friday night, which was uh, the great finesse. I ain't mad at him. Both of them walked away with a lot of money. I had, I was rooting for Mike to win. I mean, come on now. He's 60 years old. But as we all know, Mike had power, but he ain't got no legs no more. Jake Paul got power, really not no speed, but he was scared to get countered by Mike. And uh, they went, what, eight rounds, two minute rounds. And, um, you know, both, both walked away with a payday. Allegedly, Mike made 20 million. Jake Paul made between 30 and 40 million. Now, but um, Netflix really came out the big winner because they had 60 million viewers. Now, I don't know if this is the biggest viewership that they had, but 60 million views for your very first live boxing event is pretty damn good and also this is what the malfunction that was happening with netflix during the the match now i personally it buffered for me right before the fight but when i clicked down clicked back in that was it but a lot of people like the brother two raw a couple other people said that they was able to unable to watch the fight and uh you know netflix shame on them man come on now y'all don't have the infrastructure for that y'all netflix you know but uh overall i really hope while while it was it was a lot of entertainment and um you know i didn't want to see that i really thought that mike he's too much better he's, he's above all of this it's good for the sport of boxing to be on netflix because here's my thing right espn no longer well i guess you could say espn plus does the fights but they don't have friday night fights anymore right showtime went out of business with sport and with boxing hbo went out of business with boxing so now we got this vortex and you got amazon prime which they did what i know they did uh Geronte tank davis for who else have they done you know to my to my to my knowledge and then um the zone is doing their own thing i know floyd fought on there not too long ago but i i say this it's good to see that we're trying to get that and netflix is trying to come on because netflix can offer a bag and they don't do no no pay-per-view and you can see the fights that you want to see. I'm all with it. I don't care what platform is on. It can be on ESPN, The Zone, Showtime that can come back in. It can be on USA Network. I don't care if it's on PBS, CBS, you name it. As long as we get to see the fights that we want to see, then cool. But Netflix definitely has the inf infrastructure. And I know they really want to get into live events. Um, isn't I think NFL is on Netflix, the Christmas games. So, you know, they're trying to figure out how they can get in there but look boxing boxing what's up now maybe i might have to collaborate do a netflix the zone uh espn deal but i'm all for it man i'm all for it but you know whatever can grow the sport of boxing because boxing's been pretty dead man the fact that more people talk about jake paul versus mike tyson than any other fight this year lets you know how terrible boxing has gotten and i blame the powers that be I blame the suits with all of this. You know, the Al Heymans. I'm still mad at what Eddie Hearn did between the brothers Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, where they could have fought for undisputed, undefeated seven years ago, and we was robbed of that fight. Those type of things have ruined the sport. Bob Aaron playing around, not letting Terrence Crawford fight Manny Pacquiao. Those things have ruined the sport of boxing. Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people love Floyd um, in the ring. And while Floyd did make a lot of money, people try to emulate Floyd, not the pretty boy Mayweather, but the money Mayweather side. And that hurt the sport of boxing. People being afraid to take an L hurt the sport of boxing. And, you know, it, boxing is pretty much on life support, honestly. A lot of these fighters, man, they might fight every blue moon like a Gary Russell or a Keith Thurman or a Tim Tazu, even Javante Tank Davis. He barely fights that. He barely fight. He fights, what, once a year, maybe? Maybe once a year, every other year. Earl Spence, we ain't seen Earl Spence come back in the ring since Terrence Crawford. So that's coming up on what, two years? So anything that can bring the sport back, man, to where we can get regular fights, I am all for that. You know, even if it do have to be a circus at first, maybe now Netflix say, okay, well, cool. Well, now we can start bidding on some of these, these top fights. Maybe we can see a Devin versus Shakur, a Devin versus Tank, a Tank versus Shakur. Maybe they'll get into the game and offer money that they can't refuse. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about that. Uh, tell me what y'all think.